Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are here to understand a new more concept in SAP S4 HANA sourcing and procurement. So today's topic is here to create a multiple materials by using the MMCC transaction code in the material master. So here we have the one example. So suppose considered if we have to create multiple materials with a different different description only, which have a similar purchasing data and your accounting data and your plant general storage location data. Just the description is a change. Okay. So that time SAP has given the option. So instead of creating single single this material so we can able to create this multiple master data by using the transaction code as a mmcc so for that first of all we have to create one material as a reference so by copying from that material we can able to create a multiple master data here okay so let's copy the description of your reference material and that reference material we have to create by using the MM01 transaction code. So first of all, let's go and try to create MM01. So all these are the part of your spares. Hardware items are there. Okay. So we'll select the standard spare part material type and we'll go with the mechanical industry here. Okay. Then select the views. Click on a continue. Enter a plan and a storage location, then again click on a continue. So here we have to enter the description of your reference material. So here we have to input the information about that reference material. Then purchasing information. And finally, we have to go for the accounting view for that material. 3040, we can just put the something moving average price for that material. So, this is the reference material for GIP1 plant. So, one material we have created as a reference. Just copy that reference material. Now, come to the MMCC transaction code. So, here, copy material option is here. Put down that reference material here for the copy option then in the next step we have to select how many materials we are going to be copying from that reference material so in our case we have taken the 20 numbers of the materials here so let's put down so in your case how many count you are going to be copying from that just enter that count here 100 200 300 500 whatever you want Okay, so that count you have to enter here. Initially, we can go for the test run here and then we can execute the final creation of your copy of your material master. So whenever we are going to be copying from the reference material, so that time, so this data is going to be copy. Basic data, plan data, storage location, and your valuation data. Okay, so after Entering the count, click on a execute. So next screen will be open. So 20 times the same description of the material is a coming as our reference material. So now just copy the description of the 20 materials and put down that description into that short text here. So automatically that text is going to be updated here as per the description. Next, we have to select for which plant we are going to be copying that data. So source plant is our GIP1. And also we are going to be creating that data under the GIP1 plant. If you want to add more, click on add. Then for the second plant also, we can able to extend the same master data at the same time. Similarly for the storage location as well. For GIP1, this is your source plant. This is our target plant. If you want to extend this data to the multiple plant location, 
then here you can just click on the additional button and we can able to extend that everything to the multiple plants at the same time. Similarly for the valuation area as well. So this is all about the data which we are going to be copying from source to the target plant here. So if you want to add multiple plants, that option SAP is also given here. Okay, then click on a execute. After executing, so data is going to be copying or materials are going to be posted, but this is the test run. Okay, see here, we are getting the message like that. Test run got successfully. Now come back from the screen, remove the test run and then execute all the data. Okay, then again, click on a continue. Now see, materials are going to be posted one by one. Well, 13 for data is going to be processed here. So all 20 materials got posted in a GIP1 plan. Now check the list display report for the master data. Okay. Click another option. The transaction code for the list of the materials here, MM60. Then remove the material, enter the plant as a GIP1 here. Then we are selected the material type as a ERSA. Okay. Then execute. So here, our all the materials got created with a multiple different different description. So this is our reference material M310 672. This is our reference material. So by copying from that reference material, these 20 materials in a serial from 673 to 692, all these 20 materials under the GIP1 plan with a spare part material type, same purchasing group, same valuation class, everything got defined. So this is saving our time instead of creating the one by one by copying option, we can able to create a multiple materials into the material master. Just they have the different description here along with the similar material type purchasing group and your accounting and your valuation class. So definitely this is going to be adding your knowledge for sure. So try to use and save your time for creating the same material with the different description in a serially. Hope you learned something today. Please, if you want to learn the new interested thing in SAP S4 sourcing and procurement, Please like, share, and subscribe YouTube channel and visit our website www.taxskills.com. Thank you.